In today's video, we're going to do a ladder test with 8208XBR and our Nosler RDFs in 130 grain. We're going to start at 25.4 grains, work up to 27 grains in 0.2 grain increments. We're going to find ourselves some velocity nodes, maybe some point of impact nodes, and then we're going to go ahead and reload those. All right, today we're going to use, do a ladder test using the 130 grain RDF, and we're going to use 8208 XBR, starting at 25.4, working all the way up to 27. Shooting at 100 yards, going to try to find some velocity nodes. All right, brass looks good throughout, which we'd expect that. We're using Nosler's data. Let's go check out the target, check out the velocities. So now that we've shot the ladder test, it looks like we've got a node around 25.5 and a node around 26.7. We're going to go ahead and load up two five shot groups using these two charges at 2.260 overall length. We're going to go out on the range, shoot those, see what kind of accuracy we get. All right, so after completing the ladder test here, uh, we picked two velocity nodes and kind of point of impact nodes. Those ended up being 25.5 grains and 26.7. So we're going to shoot two five shot groups using these two loads. Kind of see if we can get something near that inch grouping. If not, this might be the last try for this bullet. Alrighty, so we'll start out with the lower charge, 25.5. Target's at 100 yards. The uh, orange dot is one inch. All right, next group's gonna be at 26.7 grains. All right, here's the velocity data for the 25.5 load. Our average velocity was 2260, and standard deviation at 9.4, and the extreme spread at 21. These are pretty good numbers. The velocity is a little bit lower than what you'd hope for in this load, but it's, it's a low load. That's kind of what we expect. In the 26.7 grain load, our average muzzle velocity was much more impressive at 2393 and our standard deviation at 14.7 and our extreme spread at 38. These are pretty good numbers overall. I would kind of expect to see a little bit better accuracy out of these loads at these velocities. All right, so looking at the results for our two five-shot groups, our groups definitely improved since the last video using CFV223. We shot a 2.154 inch group with the 25.5 load and we shot a 2.928 inch group with the 26.7. But kind of as you can tell, looking at that, if we kind of take the best four out of five, which we don't do, but for consideration, on the uh, 26.7 load, four out of five of those shots kind of went into around an inch group. So I think maybe in the next video, we might give different overall lengths a try. See if we can get anywhere with that. If not, we're pretty much going to give up, move on to uh, the Spear Gold Dots and 8208XBR. 
All right, we're continuing shooting the 130 grain RDF with 26.7 grains of 82 rate XBR. Uh, we've got the overall length at 2.3 on this load. Hoping that we get something decent out of it. Target's at 100 yards. It's about all oh, 60 degrees out. What? Did we just get a good group with these bullets? All right, next group I'm going to have to single feed because uh, they're too long to go in the magazine. 2.335 inches. Looking at the groups for the 2.300 overall length, we ended up with a five shot group just over an inch at 1.095. Our velocity average was 2355 with our standard deviation of 10.9. So far, this is the best groups we've got with this bullet and my gun. I think if I was going to continue to shoot this gun, this bullet and this gun, I think I would use this load overall. So for the 2.335, we end up shooting just over an inch at 1.328 inches. Also, pretty good group so far with this bullet and gun. The velocity average with these bullets were 23.65, with the standard deviation a little bit worse at that 25.3. So overall, I think it was a successful test. We kind of figured out how to make these bullets shoot well after all. It only took almost the whole box of bullets to figure it out. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.